So today I am going to be doing a small Goodwill haul. It's a thrift haul. And then I have one other thing I want to show you that I got the same day that I got everything else, just at a different place. I got it at Winco. That's mainly, a, it's a giant grocery store, but sometimes they have like little ends and odds and like some of the holiday aisles and book. They have like a very small book aisle. And I found this there. Um, it is a coloring book. It does have some churchy themes like, here, I just missed the page I was going for. Uh, the Lord, be happy, be right, be you. Oh, wait, the Lord is my light. Uh, Mitcha 7 8. And then on the front here, it says, Let your light shine before others, Matthew 5 16. So it does have some God aspects to it, but it is mainly sea themed, which I liked. I'm going to use this as my summer coloring book. And I'm going to, the first book I'm going to, the first page I'm going to color is this page, probably, because I'm going to give it to my papa. So, yeah. My papa is kind of like my grandfather, for those of you who don't know the relationship for that word. Okay, so the first thing I have for my gift haul um, that I'm going to show you is a Magic 8-Ball. I'm going to be doing a video with this. I'm going to Google the most commonly asked questions for a Magic 8-Ball, and we're going to do them and see the outcome. I got this for three dollars, two ninety nine. Um, I got this because I had a magic eight ball when I was in elementary school, when I was like eight or nine. I got it at a garage sale for twenty five cents then, and then I moved to Texas, and my dad was going through a box of my stuff at his house and got rid of it. So there's that. Um, sorry, my phone's going off. So there's that. Um, the other thing I got that isn't clothing, the other two items I have for clothing, is this book. It is, okay, so it's for grades 5 and 4 and 5. It's a Girl Scout book. It has not been written in. I've gone through every page. I haven't read it, but I went through every page looking for writing. Um, the only writing there is is a name. It's a first name. It's in little kid writing, so I was just going to put some white white out over it and write my own name. Um, I was thinking of doing a series for this because I didn't get to be a Girl Scout when I was a kid and I've been doing Boy Scout badges on my own, which are a little hard by the way if you don't have like a scout leader like motivating you to do them. I have like four badges and then me and my sister in law have come up with some other random ones like for sewing and arts and crafts and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to do this book together. Um, I'm probably going to start that series towards the summer, so there's that. Um, so the first thing I got is a pair of cargo pants. Um, they're tan. They have really deep pockets. They have six, three pockets on each leg, so six pockets. Um, they're actually about four inches too long on me, so I am going to cut them at the knee and hem them. Well, I'm going to cut them at the knee. My sister-in-law is going to hem them because I can't hem worth a shit. <laughs> Being honest there. And I'm going to have to get a belt to wear with them. But other than that, they fit well. Um, the only reason I need a belt is they look funky without a belt. As I realized. Like, so I tried them on at the place to make sure they fit. They were a little loose on me. And I was like, okay, I'll wear a belt. And they looked weird. And I thought it was because they were baggy, but once I put the belt on at home with them, they looked less weird. But the belt I have doesn't really go with them because it is a uh, black belt and it stands out really well against this. And I kind of don't like that. Okay, Kyle's over here now. And then, oh, I got these for $6, I believe. I got them in the guys section because I could not find any female cargo pants. The other thing I got is a jacket. It is a jean jacket. I got this for just like ten dollars. Um, I had a jean jacket when I was little, and I outgrew it around seventh grade because my arms got too long and my shoulders got a little bit wider. So there's that. It actually fits me really well. Um, it is actually a size too big, but I like my sleeves when I can do this, so that's fine. Um, I don't button up jean jackets, so that's fine. As you can see, if I was to wrap it, it would be like this. 
So just leaving it open. I actually think I'm going to wear this today because it goes really well with my outfit. I'm wearing jeans and a black t-shirt. It kind of, jeans go with everything. Black goes with everything. That's what I've learned over my years of fashion. Right, that's all I have. So, yes. Well, for the thrift haul. One thing, I'm going to be doing... I'm making a summer box of all the things I'm going to be doing this summer. Such as I'm going to print out my bucket list and the seasonal bucket list. If you don't remember what those are, this upcoming March, I will be doing the spring bucket list. The seasonal spring bucket list. I will be telling you what that is and what is on there. So you will get a recap next month of that. Um, For summer, anyways, I'm going to be putting things like this coloring book and this book in there and the magic eight ball in there for things okay so that's all i have bye guys this has been mayhem and high tops